There are many factors that directly affect the longevity of brake rotors and the safety of the driver when taking a high performance road car to a track day. In this video, we're going to be showing you the correct procedure to follow when upgrading your brake rotors before heading to the track. When choosing a brake rotor to use at the track, it's important to do your research. A heat treated rotor really is the only way to go if you want any chance of being able to use that rotor again on the street after you've finished at the track. You also need to consider that a cheap rotor with inferior materials and cooling could crack under extreme heat or operating conditions. DBA's 5000 series rotor is the perfect rotor solution for high performance street vehicles as they have thermal stability profiling, meaning they undertake heat treatment cycles during the manufacturing process. This rotor features a two-piece design which is lighter and enables users to replace only the ring when they are at the end of their service life. 5000 series and 4000 series rotors are also available in various slot and drilled surface designs. I personally recommend and use the T3 slotted design. The first step is bedding in the rotors. Generally, experienced drivers will use their track rotors on the street with standard street pads for a week or two before any track use. Make sure you try and avoid using new pads and new rotors at the same time when bedding them in. Driving in normal traffic conditions for two to 300 kilometers is effective and will make premature fatigue of the disc rotor material less likely. If the car is unregistered or you're short of time, then applying the acceleration and brake method at the track in your warm-up session will also bed them in. Ensure you warm the rotors up progressively, not abruptly, to avoid thermal shock by progressively harder stops from speeds beginning up 40 kilometers an hour and then work your way up to 100 kilometers per hour. In this video, we are focusing on the brake rotors only, but stay tuned for a future video. We're gonna discuss pad selection and track preparation. Next comes the warm up and cool down. Brake rotors must be preheated before track sprints to reduce the thermal shock from sudden high speed braking. The difference in rotor temperature from when the pedal is applied to when the pedal is released is directly proportional to metal fatigue. Essentially, you need to warm up your brake rotors on your outlap before you start driving at 100%. This is also applicable after the event when you exit the track. A cool down lap is advisable at reduced speed with lighter braking to lower the core temperature of the rotor slowly or if this is not possible, go for a short drive off the track for a few minutes. Do not pull up immediately after exiting the track with hot brakes if you plan on using them again. And also don't forget, applying the handbrake on hot rotors after a track session will distort the rear discs as they cool down. All disc rotors and braking system components should be inspected after a track day. This involves removing the wheel of the vehicle and inspecting the brake rotor for surface cracking from fatigue on the pad surfaces. If a suspected crack is found, rub the area with a light grade emery paper, 240 grit or higher, to confirm that it is definitely a crack and not leaching or etching from the pad material. Pad etching looks very similar to light cracking, but will disappear with a light rub of emery paper. If the heat checking and surface crazing is advanced to the point where the surface cracks are clearly visible, discard the pair of rotors. Brake rotor temperature analysis is a great way to monitor the performance of your braking system and also improve your driving techniques. DBA 4000 and 5000 series rotor feature this thermographic paint where basically each colour of paint burns off in a different temperature range. So at a very quick glance, you can see how hot your rotors are getting after a track day session. Now, if you want to maintain optimum brake rotor life, you need to keep the core temperature of a brake rotor in a high performance streetcar in the 450 to 630 degrees Celsius range. The green paint coming off means everything is fine. If the orange comes off, you need to start looking at your driving style and pad selection and if the red paint is gone, you're in trouble and your entire braking system may require an upgrade. If you're exceeding these limits, you should reconsider your pad grades, calipers, rotor size and driving technique. Take note of the time and distance the brakes are applied into a corner and compare them to other drivers. 
One or two seconds of additional braking coming into a corner can make a substantial difference in rotor temperature and product service life. Well, that covers brake rotors, but stay tuned for a future video where we'll discuss pad selection and how to correctly prepare them for a track day.